welcome back to the YouTube channels of YouTube channels. The YouTube channel where we are dedicated to reading comics and today an exploration in the material and what we need to get some perspective of comic book history, a way for us to wrap our heads around some of the long, fun, fantastic history of some of these characters that are beyond unique, culturally important, culturally important. Today, we're unwrapping, unboxing, un enveloping another Joker book. The reason why I, because <laughs> this, this was tracking a long time. Everyone's still talking about the Joker. Earlier this week, we un unpackaged two Joker books, which are relatively the same book, separate editions. This one here has three extra issues that the other greatest Joker stories ever told does not. And we have this one amazing Kyle Baker image here. So we did that, but a lot of this is me, again, using the attention of the movie, all the social media buzz, but just using, you know, like a little bit of that energy, channeling it through me, and just like realizing that there's just Joker items that I should have for the library that I should be able to bring to you that I don't have. So sometimes during all of this, I'll purchase, <laughs> I'll purchase items and I'll share them with you for the first time. These books, this is one of a series. Th these are huge and this spun my mind because th they have so many different ones of these DC comics, uh, comic books, editions that I'm really going to commit to like put some time and money into. I, I My goal, and maybe by the end of the year, is to complete the entire collection of this book here. So let's just hit the drawing table. I want to show it off. And I'm curious if maybe we have a appendices in the back that breaks down the other available books in this series. Let's go. All right, AKA Powder. So previously, we were doing Stack Deck, the greatest Joker stories ever told, expanded edition, and the greatest Joker stories ever told. These books are somewhat the same. This one has one additional article and three extra issues of Joker goodness. So yeah, during when the movie was coming out, I just realized I just don't like, there's so much history with the Joker and there's a lot of things to approach and discuss and to show off. And I just realized, I'm like, crap, you know, like I, I, I do need a little bit more of actual comic book history in the library, in the stack, in the stacked deck. So it's starting with these. So my goal is to start a run of these books that I'm about to reveal and to get all the greatest story books from DC and to kind of be able to lay out the the history of DC Comics with the characters, with some of the stories behind it all as context. So the one of these that I really that I have to get that's kind of like first on the list is Justice Society of America. Uh, which is it's funny too. And here, oh check out nice reveal here. Here you go. Joker. A celebration of 50 years right here and i believe we have a brian bowling cover there might be three cover variations of this and there's also a joker 80 year celebration and then we have 30 year celebrations one would be for steel we have 35 year celebration hard covers uh for harley quinn so this is uh, this line it's vast. I'm not totally familiar with it. They retail for 40 bucks, which is a lot. But these are good and cheap. Now, the Justice Society of America one, and I believe there might be a Superboy one. Uh, Justice Society is the most expensive. That's about 70 to $80. The Superboy one might be 50 or 60 There's a Lois Lane one in the 30 range. But we're, we're going on a deep run. Now, I do have to say... This Brian Bolin cover here, this was used for, I'm pretty sure this is the soft cover artwork for this edition of The Greatest Joker Stories Ever Told. But yeah, let's have a look at these for the first time. I remember seeing a lot of these too at, uh, at like Barnes & Nobles and discount racks. 
these were highly available at one point and they dried up I never really paid attention. Look, we have the panel. This is his first appearance, first panel. It looks like we have a Dick Sprang Batman 75. Yeah, the Dick, Dick Sprang Joker right there. Joker, here we go. We have uh, Batman vs. Joker. We have some issue highlights here. And then we have more classic adventures of the town, Prince of Crime. Excellent. So you can kind of, uh, a little bit of a reading guide. Here as well, this is, uh, um, this looks like a Jason fabric, right, of the three Jokers. Part, here we go, uh, part one, the Grim Trust. So some of this too is, uh, okay, so we have comics. I, I thought these were more, oh, oh. These are comics. Oh, and I guess this is what's in here. Well, okay. That's different. So, still, still good, still cool. I thought these were a little bit more, uh, I thought there was information in these. I thought the, uh, I thought we were going to go through uh, some written text. I thought these were a little bit of an article. So, well, there we go. This is a way. And we have more additions. Mad Love. Death of the Family. We got some Greg Capullo here. Some New 52. All right, so this is just like a chronological break. Oh, nice. Scott McDaniel. This must be from No Man's Land. And this looks like Norm Brayfogel. All right, so these, this is just an exploration. Uh, Death of the Family, Jim Aparo, John Byrne, right here. Guess who's in Metropolis? Okay, so these are just collected editions for particular heroes. I thought they were history books. That's why I got excited. But I guess like some of them. I guess I'm curious about the Shazam one. And the Justice Society of America one. In, in the same way. Now that I know what these are. And like I said. I saw these are in clearance racks. I never quite picked them up. Or even flipped through them. I don't know why. I just wasn't interested at the time. Uh, these are good. These are cheap. Uh, these are worth your attention. Uh, yeah. Worth adding to the library. I'm going to. I'm going to start here. While finishing up these two. I already got some of these on order. So guys. Alright. Less of a history lesson there. But we now have. Think about this. We now have more information readily available. That's not tied to the internet. About DC's The Joker. And that's.